This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 15th of May. I'm Michael Groff. Below normal temperatures for much of the upcoming week, and by May standards, it'll actually feel pretty good out there. Do we have any chances of rain? Well, we'll certainly talk about that and everything else related to our weather as we look outside right now. Here's the freeway cam. This is pointed eastbound, the Loop 101, 35th Avenue, courtesy of ADOT. And yes, it's getting light so early now. 70 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 36. Humidity 28%. The winds are light. The barometer 29.75 inches and falling. Temperatures around the area this morning here in the metro. We are mostly, I'd say, in the low 60s to low 70s. Satellite picture shows mostly clear skies here in south central Arizona. A few clouds, especially in the northeast part of the state at this time. On the watch warning map, it's really quiet across the country. Here in the southwest states, some red flag warnings in parts of southeast and eastern Arizona, as well as off into New Mexico. Dry weather, windy conditions, elevated fire danger risk, wind advisories in parts of southern California as well. On the convective outlook, some active weather later today in the Plain states. From around Amarillo up to Dodge City, a slight risk of severe storms, another slight risk zone from around Sioux Falls, South Dakota to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Elsewhere, the marginal risk goes from the Rio Grande all the way up into parts of North Dakota. So let's talk about the details of our weather. We'll look at the models, see what's going on. Here's the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. This is the view across North America from 500 millibars. And uh, another upper trough coming our way, a little area of low pressure just to the west of us. So today, some breezy conditions, especially in Southern California. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms out that way. Perhaps even up into Northwest Arizona and Utah. But most of the energy from this system is going to stay to our north. We don't really have a whole lot of moisture to work with here in Arizona. So here in the valley today, we'll call it partly cloudy, breezy and uh, cooler so it'll be nice out there for may highs in the low to mid 80s tonight partly cloudy not too bad out there lows in the 60s primarily and then tomorrow a breezy day as that area of low pressure passes us by a little cold front comes through and it'll be even cooler tomorrow cold air advection high temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 70s yes didn't think we'd have another day with highs in the 70s boy just have lunch outside tomorrow enjoy it might be the last really nice day we have for about, what, six months now. Then on Wednesday, doesn't look too bad here either, but another area of low pressure will be dropping through the Intermountain West, and Wednesday night and Thursday will be passing north of Arizona. I think the breezes will hold off on Wednesday. We'll say partly cloudy. High temperatures a little bit warmer back in the low and middle 80s. Thursday... That low passes north of the state. A little moisture is drawn in. Some thinking that maybe a slight chance of showers or storms would occur late Wednesday, early Thursday here in the valley. I just don't see that on the latest runs of the GFS or European. So we'll say a dry forecast for now. Partly cloudy skies. High temperatures on Thursday, mid 80s. Friday, high pressure tries to build in. The trough still hanging on, though. It'll be breezy with highs in the mid to upper 80s. Here's Saturday. We're looking like uh, still some weak energy lingering around in the southwest states or just off the west coast trying to undercut the developing ridge. But overall, we'll stay dry. Highs mostly in the low 90s. Same setup on Sunday, low to mid 90s. The sky mostly sunny. Here's a week from today. This is Monday, the 22nd of May. And you see some type of energy still undercutting the ridge. If this verifies, I think high temperatures would stay under the century mark. would be in the mid 90s someplace with a continuation of mostly sunny skies. Still dry on Tuesday the 23rd, as the same setup remains. Hard to time these type of features. It's a bit of a complex pattern, something of a split flow. But I think high temperatures would be somewhere in the vicinity of normal. And then this is the end of the forecast period. Wednesday the 23rd, looks like the ridge breaking down just a little bit. Still holding on, though, with some energy undercutting it. And high temperatures, again, low to mid-90s. Looking at the temperatures off the GFS Ensemble, now the Ensemble guidance has us warmer than that. It has us near the century mark all of next week and really on through the rest of the month of May. And that certainly is possible and wouldn't be all that unusual given the time of year. But we'll watch to see how that flow pattern evolves and maybe we'll stay just a bit below the triple digits. We'll see. 
And that'll do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video back here tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and have a great Monday.